We're going to make something out of this next game because we are back in it and we got a duo that I am very excited to check out is Zate and Saf. This is, although they're in, they're in two separate teams, Energy and Ghost, this is a phenomenal duo. They work so well together and dare I say, when you think about duos in Fortnite, if this is not, if these two guys are not the names that come out of your mouth the first, second, or third, you're crazy. Tracers that are like connecting with his structures. Faden just needs a moment to reset here. Hope for something, but a player's gonna Hope. drop right in and Fuzzlesaur is gonna pay for that one. I can't believe it. Still managing to stay in this game. Faden, that could have gotten, that could have went very, very south for him, but he manages to stabilize on that fight. We'll get that moment to pop the minis as well. So Slurp what became down. a really risky situation has actually become a positive here. Oh, Tags another one, plays. and I can't believe it, but oh no, he's taking so much Ooh. damage and ended up getting blocked by himself outside, and that is going to be the end of the run there for Faden, but that was very impressive. Then, speaking of great players in this lobby, you have Landjock and Punisher. They're in a battle right now, but Saf and Punisher, he's actually getting hurt quite a bit. Landjock goes down, he gets, oh my word, he gets the eliminations, and he's able to stay in the game. Saf actually just dropped the opponent, it looks like. This Light is just walls. Saf, dude. What a nasty game from him. I mean, even even if he doesn't win it, you still gotta be impressed oh. with it. And, and I kind of feel like I kind of cursed it there. Had but. that landed, that would have been absolutely massive. Saf had both players on surprise there. The rocket dropping them both in, but it looks like the reaction here from Crixium. Quick little 180 pump flick gets the elimination on Saf. Still an excellent game. Naf goes down. Quick little pump shot there. And 48 on rotation. You're gonna have to push outside in the storm. Don't get caught on your own ramp. Yeah, he gets a lot of here. damage, Lupo. That, that just has to hurt. You got Famhood in here as well as Sheep. Wants to try and see if he can find some players, maybe in the, the low ground. Warriors here will find one target. That's going to be Mitt who goes down and will reap the benefits of the Siphon as well as the much necessary resources so he can continue to tarp off and give himself some cover here. Canada popping in a 1v1v1 while oh, this is third good. party shots from above from Icon and Zealand. They're gonna have to waterfall very soon. They don't want to get dropped down. Uh, the old Prime Pressure, the Boom Bow combined with an AR just spraying surfaces, popping. They're so high Shoot. up. Those two down the bottom are more worried about each other, which means the beam from above, the shot from above, are so crucial to be timed correctly that you can you can get all of, uh, all the damage in, steal those eliminations from potentially a 1v1, which turns out they couldn't get it. Poppin did pick that one up, but a 2v1 here. We've seen a couple in the past, the last few games, we've had situations where one player that had oh, the Oh, oh, he went up above him. He went up We're above him and trying to get the high ground. I can't believe it. He went for that ambitious play up above, but Poppin, does he get, the, does he reap the benefits of it? No, it's gonna be the FB duo that wins it out, but Poppin went for the jump pad play. Uh, Sonny, you wanna give us that rundown? Yeah, giving you the rundown on it, so the, briefest explanation is you pop it you have the brief ability to then double jump or wall jump which means you're able to jump off the air and if you hit another structure you can then jump back off it it will negate fall damage does not last for a long amount of time comes in stacks of three i believe it's five seconds might be a little bit shorter than that gonna need to double check on the timing but it enables you to make very quick plays and it also renders you very 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 difficult to see i'm not yep. sure if it's quite true invisibility I think it is, but the uh, audio cues also slightly give it away so you can tell if somebody is around, like a redeploy. But one of my favorite uses for it, Zeke, is disengage. Mm -hmm. Like just getting to a new location, swapping it up on somebody. Now, Bizzle getting a knock there onto tie depth and also pushing into the top 15. So you can see another player there pops the shadow so gone. Bizzle can no longer harass them. So Devo now working from the high ground, gonna jump off, should Ooh. have redeploy okay. and he does. Nope, also has that shadow bomb. So gonna pop it there to save himself. Looks like they'd split that since they usually come in stacks of three and now punishing Cridge. So really good use of that from Demo, but because it's only that three stack and him only having the one, takes fall damage the second time he got knocked down. So now him and Bizzle totally separated. However, the Siphon gonna come across. Oh. He needs to try and turtle up as quick as can. Oh, the Stinker's coming in. They're gonna try and flush him out. Don't He's run through go it. Down. What? 
he was fine. He should have gone the other way, maybe just a little bit. I mean, bit. the storm wall was there, so it looked like he had to loop back around, but it looked like he could have edited around the side and maybe not run back through the sphinx. I don't know, but now Fizzle all by himself. As you see, Fuzzy and Inspire picking those one up. Fizzle, nice little jump up into his cone, trying to find an option here, and also has two of those Shadow Mumps. Picks up Thresh right there, and then is able to convert. Saw the launch pad on his side now. Pops the shadow, so nice little single hop, double hop up top. Will he go for ultimate high? No, he's gonna opt to go for ultimate high with the second one or drop down. Okay, Shadow Bomb back out. Will he opt to make a play with this? I really love this new item. It's just so cheeky. You can do really crazy things. And now we're into the top 10, so that's the next place in special. Bizzle trying to find whatever shots he can oh, as Mojo oh. picks up POTG and goes, gets Hornet right there pushing through. So now, looking for whatever ellipse he can. It's sitting on the chug, which at this point is going to get close to being a dead item spot as he then gets pushed through into the next build. Can he get the convert? Oh. No, Sizz Lucky picks that up, so leaving that down there, leaving the point. This is a tough spot because right now Hogman's and Fuzzy maintain the high ground. They catch themselves. That was great. Lazar drops down with Upsilon. They're going to try and take down Sean, but Lazar is in a tough spot. It's Upsilon has all the shield, and so does Fuzzy and Hogman. They're going to drop down, and they're just going to look to close this out as textbook as and quickly as possible. Fuzzy tries to go for the shot. A he needs to convert, convert, out. convert it. Oh, does no. he? No, he doesn't do it. Oh, he tried so hard. You have to get that knock conversion <sighs> over one to get the point. As Pepe please oh, trying to push outlet out, down. outlet does go down. Ethereal Titan also going down, and it comes oh, down. And the 180 oh. timber wasn't enough. Pepe please put his Pepe hands up and was able to clean that one up. But why Simples then cleans him up? Now you have Mars and Dolphin up on that ultimate high ground. Static and Caliber. It's all about the duo. So top right you have. Why Simples on that mid-ground tart. Mars is in your bottom right on the high ground as Caliber and Static try and put pressure on to Simples. Caliber does go down. Simples trying to get the siphon does. Static trying to heavy snipe his way through and not quite able to find it. Dolphin and Mars just tracking over this. Static trying to get whatever heals off he can. Silver drops back to get whatever mass because he knows they're going to be working the low ground. Mars is going to start to opt to drop down. Only has 11 builds yet. Knows they have the slight advantage but are waiting for Static to expose himself, which he doesn't quite have to do. Drops down now. Looks like he's forced into this 1v2. They're trying to take it. Will Dolphin and Mars be able to capitalize? Static goes down, which gives them a fresh siphon, and they just now lose the health advantage. So Campfire goes off. Silvers is there. Mars is challenging. Dolphin is covering. <gasps> he's going to rift them. He literally is holding oh, a rift. Yep, you see it. You see it, Zeke. Mars is going to try and go for it. They're going to make this aggressive play. This could be huge if, when done correctly, it is devastating. Here we go. He got him. He, he got him. him both. So Dolphin's going to look up in the sky and take shots. Silvers needs to dive down right away, but Mars already knew it was happening. Dolphin's covering it. Gets the knock on one. Mars is going to land right away. Simple comes down. You called it right away, Zeke. What a brilliant decision. We've seen it before with Zay and Sam at the Cadavites Royale. That sounds like, whoa, they've got a whole extra game. But it's a three-hour window to play in. So basically, what I gather is they're playing their games to completion, right? They've had a, they've had a great string of games. Uh, but, you know, it's possible that someone else has racked up a really great game before them, after them, you know, whichever. That comes into it when it's best to play aggressive, when it's best to be specifically going for eliminations, when you need to play for placement and how to maximize that type of efficiency because like we said it comes down to the difference of every point as ninja just absolutely destroys posic there the duo of niddle who has already qualified and i mean made him look very silly yeah i mean ninja right now is alongside reverse uk they're putting in some work i believe that was their fourth total elimination as a duo he tried for a, uh, the half shield there, but nothing. We, he has to be back up with reverse, because right now they are split. There was a player. Okay. Yeah, they're getting, oh, oh, my God. That was so smart. I was going to say, great job to cover him. That player immediately turning his back and rotating off, but Ninja making him pay, not for the awareness. <gasps> great pickup no. from reverse. Needs to then convert. Zealous does get picked off by somebody else. So brilliant job. Needs to disengage through, but doesn't quite get it. Zundi, the current leader, picking that one up, but because it was a knock means Ninja still in the match as we get closer to that second placement threshold. 11 duos remaining, 18 players in as reverse does get cleaned up, but not full elim there. There, as it happens, Ninja gets eliminated outside of the top 10. Zundi and Nut also going down as this lobby is chaos. Now you have Pokes and Gabe on the ultimate going to take the opportunity to get his shields back 
in line as the classic does get forced down. So now Loyal and TJ are oh. right next to each other, but cannot what? get touched by the storm. How well do you edit? Do you do your drills? Do you do your practice? Can you hit your shots? The answer is yes. Boyle picking up Nikiski there as TJ still needs just a stiff breeze to knock him over. It's Boyle and TJ <laughs> on the mid tarp. Dyslexic on that low ground. Gabe in pokes above him on the high ground. Zeke, you see Gabe in the top right. Dyslexic, dyslexic in the bottom right. Everyone else on the mid tarp. Yes, I am. But now TJ, he's, I mean, if anyone even bl blinks on him right now, Pyro goes down. TJ's in a world of trouble right now. Dyslexic on the lowest ground. Now Gabe and Polax, they just need to close this out. We see one, another part of the duo. Now it's just a 2v1. They need to drop down on this player. And there you go, textbook. That is a player going back to the lobby. And a victory royale for Gabe and his duo partner, Poax. And Polar Peak, just like you talked about, those, those that elevation is absolutely deadly. You know, you have to make these rotations as quickly as possible. The longer you wait to make the rotation, the, the worse in every sense of the word it is for you and your duo partner. Now keep in mind, Tifu qualified in solos. So right now, they're looking to qualify together as a duo, and potentially Cloak may even try to qualify as solo as well. We're gonna find a few eliminations along the way. That Sting Grenade is very good, but I don't think I don't think he picked up that elimination on the left. I think that was someone else because that did not come through. Correct, he did not get that elimination. It was putting a ton of the pressure. Now they're trying to use the stick plus the RPG to get the conversion on the elim. elim the player, will he crawl out? No, so that was the first one who he down. The other player is low. TP will convert on that. Now they're gonna go play Luke Goblin in that funnel that they just saw get shot out. It just uh, shakes up the meta, and that's what I like to see. We saw a boogie come through, nothing there, though, as Tifu looks like he's going on the hunt. Oh, he stole a the ball! He stole the ball! Did he take the ball? He just away? took it and dipped. He took it and left. Tifu's like, You're boogie, and you can't do anything. I'm going to take the baller and leave since he was so low health. He leaves Cloak to then fight it out, and Cloak's now going to pop that oh, shadow. Can so you make the double jump? No, he, okay. needed, he needs to start wall jumping. No, instead, he's going to be in the one by one. Jay had no idea. He had absolutely no idea Cloaksy had landed it. Now, Cloaksy is in the fray on the mid ground tarp. Going to be able in 90s way back up as we get outside Polar Peak, as Lupo would say, 90s, 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 but doesn't necessarily need it as you hear other players popping that Shadow Storm. Now only 14 builds left. Needs to be careful. Knows he's on the backside of the storm. Trying to find the rotation. Misses the first shot, but forces Pyro Happy down. And he gets it. He gets the knock on the Happy, but not quite the siphon yet. And he needs to still go upwards. Four builds, three builds. 3 HP does get the dropped siphon. down. Those are siphons gonna come through. Tfue is right next to him. Needs that siphon to take over. Still on 3 HP. And he gets oh, it, but he got down right the minute it happened. Clap Bro came down. He said, hey, you good? Before dropping him down there now as Bambi is working back through those natural builds. This is so tense. He gets the edit, doesn't fire a shot, and is getting absolutely worked oh. here. Oh. But Lenon, the dwarf, is dwarf by Bambi. This is no movie here. He's biting back, doing the hunting himself and working his way down from the high ground. Will he be able to find it? Los Sampa goes down. Bambi putting in work. Does have mats now and he walls him out. He could just wall him out here, Zeke. He's gonna try and do that. He's got the health advantage for sure. Can he just close the game out? We hear a shot come out, but nothing is connected. It doesn't matter. He shuts E11's Joseph down. 11 1 E limbs 1. total. Kind of an interesting play to go rift here. Now well, they go battling. higher up with the rift, yeah, right? All, so all the way for ultimate hunt. If they just had the geyser, they probably would have just clashed right against that mountain. But with the rift to go, they go higher up. So as you see here, they were able to get that ultimate high ground and pick up some more knocks as well as so eliminations. Many. So many players get knocked to the storm there. That brings them up to eight eliminations here. And they are holding the best spot in the map or on the map right now, which is that highest level here. You got some grapplers or ballers being played here. Another knock's gonna go there. He actually tried to get up and over with the ball. It gets caught out by Kaizui and Cloud put that player down. So he was not free to rotate there at all. Up above, you have Kaizui and Cloud in a fantastic position as they rain down shots onto Risen. Risen needs to box himself up, but just look at the pressure that they're applying. The blue SMG just shreds through structures, and then on top of which, you have Cloud continuing to apply pressure with the weapon of his choice there. I believe that was a compact SMG, but they have them tucked away in this corner. Just this is the me. last guy, and that is gonna be the victory royale. Very clean, clean game.
Look. What? Whoa. <laughs> well, I'm like looking and I was LK. waiting for you to, I was waiting like, for you to catch it. We're in zone three. We have all of this open terrain to mess around with. I don't know what's happening in this lobby, but clearly Nut and Sunday, they're going to benefit a lot from this one. Blame them. 12 eliminations. That's six teams if you put it together here. We're in the duo format. That's crazy. Another team falls down to them. Only eight teams remain. Nobody, sorry, you've been spotted by the best team in the lobby probably right now as they are now battling for this high ground. There's oh. no way you're going to be able to make it out of there. Bye-bye, Frenzy. That is very unfortunate. And they get another jump pad. Who these players are, where they come from, uh, you know, their streams, all that stuff. Because I think this is the best part about the, the Fortnite World Cup in the open format. We learn and discover so many new players on a regular basis. And just look at the way that they push with Reckless Abandon. They don't really care. They're just going to go for it because they know that no one in this lobby is as good as they are. And that's why if you believe in your heart of hearts, you are a competitor. Take a stab at it. Get it into these lobbies. You can be the next up as stream mode gets absolutely Ooh. demolished here. But now it's Nut and Zundi who are getting pressured here. Is he going to rift to go out? Is he going to back up to his teammate? He's got to pop that. Uh, the... the um is in the best spot. They're actually giving up the mountain here. This is how aggressive they are. In comes the reload on the heavy snipe. Is he gonna box lock two players? Doesn't matter. He tries to connect with the RPG. Gets in the in. box he goes. Yikes gaming. That's a yikes for you, buddy, because you just got owned by the rocket play and into the building. <laughs> they don't well. care. Doesn't they matter. don't care. They're just Too going quick. in for all of it. There's gonna be another player in front of him as well. And Nutton Zundi, this is Ballistic, who we saw with the back against the what storm there, and do? Ballistic won't. He can't do anything. He, he can't do anything. He backflipped from the 220 to the face. He ain't going to do nothing. You just want to see if you're these two players because these are these are just this is just points. These are points, baby. <laughs> That's all you want at this, right? You just want the points. You just want to try and get to the big matches tomorrow. And so far, they're a scary team. Single-handedly shredded apart both of these players' shield and then pushed in by himself. High definition from the low ground peak. TXG team comes in super hard. It, it wasn't graceful. Knew that they were going to be able to secure those eliminations, hence why they did not opt to utilize that very precious resource with that slurp juice. And they continue to tarp up above here, own as much as they can of the high ground and prevent any kind of movement. But just as I say that, it's actually going to be a player nestled inside of a tower of themselves here. But Posit gets above them, as well as players are going to be building around them. And, just, and this is not looking good for Reverse. He's got to continue to protect himself, Monster. Yeah, that's right. He's in a tight situation here. He doesn't have a teammate up back him up. He's going to find a big elimination on uh, Colin Frags right there. That's going to put him in a nice situation, but in comes the pressure. It's the, the duo from above here. What is Reverse going to do as he is getting all of the smoke right now in this lobby? He needs to get out. There it is. Good movement here. This is what you want to do when you're getting pressured. You want to maneuver around oh. left and right. And it's up to them to kind of work together really to dismantle this duo here because if they don't dive as a, well, a solo team, it's not going to come together. So battle's going on. And Niddle, Niddle, Niddle gets, he gets on top of it. Posting right in front of him. He takes out Masterus. That's going to be reversed by himself. The last man standing, and it's going to be the elimination for Niddle. That's two elims for him, five for Posting, seven total as well. Oh, uh, so there's something in the background probably connecting this. Is it just is the that, one that, rip? That. Is it the one rip? Oh, there it is. There oh, it is. Boy. Oh, boy. Now comes the Jenga tower. Oh, oh, he gets, oh, he got I three. I don't know how many. Oh, three. No, no, he got two. He got two. Wait, no. It's he, still oh, ringing. my word. It's oh, all over boy. the feet. It's only showing us three at a time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello. Seven elimination. Four <laughs> parallax. And out comes the shadow bombs. He is cutting across the field here. Parallax <laughs> face doing it up right now. And that is very unfortunate because Space Line does not have the HP. He's going to go inside of the box here. Does regroup. Managed to get outside of this and drops the level down because he does not have the H. One clean shot with that pump. And it is a wrap. But he's trying to get up top. He's he does. He gets up top All right on Paris. Oh, my word. He manages to Two. find himself. And he snags a couple eliminations looking for another one as well. That player is going to go down. He's knocked out. This is insane. What a play there from Space Lion. Another and he has launch more pad. Jump. He hasn't even reloaded yet. Going out. How many launch pads this guy has? Oh man, Can't that believe was just. It. Saw Parallax pop I saw off. Him drop now, down. Now I'm space concerned. Space popping off for himself. Creo Wait, does did... manage to. Okay, oh no, no, no. Okay. okay. There it is. One HP. Space line still in it. He's still in dream. it. There's hope. Never mind. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good run, Space Line. Nothing but respect for you, my friend. But Creo with the. 
because he ended up taking that fall damage. And look at the way the Creo is just looking around the map. So paranoid. And we have a good old-fashioned free-for-all here, Monster. All these players solo in this matchup. Looking to just win it for their duos. Explodes, goes down. Gilly's going to be out of the fight. Ty outside of the storm, and Creo follows up with the blue pump victory. Royale for Creo. Yeah, nice clean end game there. Uh, you know, those How teams made a big mistake. They split up. Yeah, there it is. Uses the heavy snipe to break the build up above. Shot oh. and connects back to back. Velo goes down. Killer Kid 2020 also gets his sight taken out from him as Cutie Cold is on eight eliminations right now. Yeah, it is just slaying in this lobby. It's been very impressive. Destroys that baller too. Don't want to have to deal with any of those pesky ballers that will be uh, rotating about or circling about and kind of have the time of their life. But gonna He's have just Cold. Chipping away, He's chipping going away every moment that he can. He's right behind his player. Is he gonna connect as things come back? <laughs> he actually gets the teammate. Forgets that knock, goes for another oh. completely different player. That's another one. Can he finish this with 12 eliminations? He needs one more. There's still a player in the zone. The Siphon came there in. Is. That's a Siphon. It caught back up. Oh, the Siphon Add kicked in, in, but he wasn't able to stay alive. Digita will cap him there as he did his absolute best, but snagged some critical eliminations that you'd want. Who had a big elimination earlier on is going to be out of the game. We only have one player left remaining here in the duo. The numbers advantage for Lijax and a Hornet. They're looking for him. He's going to be in that smoke bomb. Gets right above them, but Hornet he actually goes low again, so he's all over the place here. Hornet's just looking for him. They're trying to see, and they manage to snag him. That's Liquid 30. Goodbye. Victory Royale. That is eight eliminations for this duo. Wait, Zeke. That's right. Still at the top of the list is Nut and Zunny leading the pack with 126 points. 20 clear of Tilt and Mastoris. How is this even possible? I Definitely, it's capitalizing on the eliminations we saw there. They actually kind of, I don't want to say got handed some of their placement points for the later game, but other people opting to utilize them for kind of the throwaway or quick drop games okay. allowed them to really kind of capitalize in winning a bunch of those 50-50s and then taking the victory out rockets them up. But I don't, I don't expect to see them up here tomorrow. Again, top three from NAs will advance, but also want to give a shout out Animal and Aspect. A mm -hmm. pair we haven't seen on this board for a while, climbing up at 104. But also, minus the kind of outlier, these guys having a great day, three victory outs, not taking anything away from them. But take them out of the equation, it's 10 points separating everyone else with uh, Vivid and uh, 72 Hours hanging out down there. Again, you know, but take your own advice, be yourselves.